I hate the gather step. Before 2009, if you picked up your dribble, you only had two steps to do something with the ball. But since the gather step was implemented, players have been able to take advantage of this legalized traveling, as they should. I mean, some of these players' careers depend on being able to score. And the three steps players now get is such an advantage, you'd be leaving a lot on the table by not using the gather step. But I hate it. I grew up playing ball with the two-step rule, and I like it. I think it more evenly distributes the offense and defense's impact on the game. But by adding this third step, offensive players now have so much more of an advantage over the defense, the game isn't as fun to watch anymore. The gather step adds subjectivity to refs who already have a hard time calling games. So you end up with major inconsistencies in the way the gather step is called. I don't fault the players at all for using the rules to their advantage. It's not their fault. They're just being smart about what they know the ref won't see as they always have. I just don't like that players seem to be putting more emphasis on drawing fouls than just getting buckets. And maybe that's what I hate more than the gather step itself. The emphasis of drawing fouls has become more important than just getting buckets. All I know is when I see players taking advantage of rip throughs and questionable gather steps, it makes me want to turn off the game. In basketball, great offense beats great defense. Always. So I don't think the league should add to the offense's weapons. If anything, I think we need to bring back hand checking for defenses. I understand the league, and hell, maybe most fans want record-breaking scoring every year and multiple players averaging over 30 a game, but to me it just takes away from the purity of the game. Like it seems gimmicky. Like the league is manufacturing scoring, which has happened since the beginning, and it happens in every sports league. I mean, it's the nature of business. You have to grow, and to grow, you have to exceed last year's entertainment value, which means scoring has to go up, because that's what people want to see. And that's what the league's trying to do with the gather step, and the inability to touch a ball handler without being called for a foul. I just don't find all these gimmicky foul calls entertaining, and the gather step is too much of an offensive advantage for me to believe the defense has a chance in stopping the defender. I think that's part of the reason we're seeing such an explosion in team average of scoring. It feels like defense is no longer a fundamental of the game, which is not true at all. The best defensive team in the league is still going to have a chance to go all the way. It's just so much harder to play defense now without fouling because offensive players are so good at drawing BS fouls. And I understand these are the rules, I understand players are trained to use the gather step and rip through to draw fouls. It just feels like the object of the game now is to draw fouls rather than get a bucket. And yes, sometimes those fouls result in buckets at the free throw line, but nobody wants to see more free throws, man. It's boring. It slows down the game. It just isn't as exciting as full speed ball, and it kind of inflates scoring averages. I definitely think players are more skilled offensively than they've ever been in the history of the game. So it's just sad to me to see the league making it even more easy, more effortless for these offensive ball gods to score the ball. I know there's no going back. We're only going to build off this offensive explosion that's been going on the last few years. I just don't like it. Call me an old head, an old man. I mean, I definitely am, but I want to know what you think. Do you miss the way the game used to be played with just two steps after the dribble, this gather step? There's no gather step. Let me know in the comments. Keep hooping y'all. Seems like it's only going to get easier to get buckets as we move forward. Also, if you want to know more specifics about the gather step, check out this video by Coach Nick at B-Ball Breakdown. He teamed up with Dev in the lab and a ref to better articulate what the gather step is and how refs see these calls. And I think it's important to actually know what the gather step is before you hear an opinion of it, because what it pretty much is is Refs look for two hands on the ball. Once two hands are on the ball, that's your that's your that's your gather step. That's that first step. They don't call it your first step. They call it the gather step, and then one two. But that gather step counts as a f step, bro. That's the first step. So there's you get three steps now, whether you want to say it or not. And under, like I said, understand that's the rule. I just don't like it because it gives offensive players too much of an advantage, in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just need to. F stop crying about it and accept the change that the game is going through because you know i think the game is in a pretty decent place it's just i don't know man I, maybe it's just the inconsistencies in the calls maybe players are worried too much about drawing fouls as opposed to just playing the game that seems to be a problem too but at the end of the day it's still basketball we're all still gonna watch the best players in the world still play in the NBA. There's no, you know, I don't think the league's in trouble or anything. This is just my personal opinion. I don't like the gather step. I want to see us go back to this two-step rule, get rid of the gather step, get rid of that subjectivity so that player, offensive players can't take advantage of the refs not quite being able to see the full court. Or 
Like I said in previous videos, give us a fucking media team of refs who are watching every single play and every single call, and they either refute or they back the calls that the refs on the floor make, because I think that would clean up the game so much, man. I really wish the league would do this. Refs get a video team behind them of refs who watch and make the call in real time, along with refs on the floor. Allow them to communicate and basically vote on what the call should be. So if you have 10 or 12 people behind the scenes voting on calls made on the floor, the majority would rule and the video team would end up making the final call, having the most evidence through all the camera angles. Just like we do at home when we're watching games, we can make calls before the rest review it because we see all the angles. The video team would be able to do that in real time and make that call. You'd also cut down on review time because literally every call would be reviewed in real time. And of course you'd have some slowness on making the call sometimes, but I think overall this would help cut down on reviews that slow the game down, while also making the game more accurate in the way we call all fouls, not just blocks and charges. This way one individual ref can't screw over the whole game. It'll be a group effort, which I believe, unless this league is actually rigged, which I don't think it is, would cut down on bad calls like crazy. You'd stop having those BS calls, because I think that's really bad for the game, man. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Is the game getting worse because of the gather step one and bs foul calls in my opinion i think both are a problem i think the foul thing is a little worse i just don't like the gather step because as a ball handler i don't know man i just you don't make it easier on the side of the game who already has the strength if that makes sense offense always beats defense if you're good enough like it's just what it is let me know what you think in the comments tell me i'm wrong tell me i'm right whatever let me know. I'm, I'm curious as to how y'all will receive this. Because honestly, I need new perspectives on this, you know. Thanks for watching, you guys.